What is going on guys? Today we are going to cover the ISO Max Bench Press. So, with this bench setup, we're going to perfectly simulate an, a static version of a bench press, alright? So we weren't really able to do that before um, with the chain, but now that we have the straps and just how everything sets up, it's really smooth, alright? So check this out. Here's what we're going to do, alright? So we're going to practice launch phase, mid position, and near lockout, just like with the shoulder press, alright? Just now we're going to do it. This way. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're gonna need the strap. So keep in mind that with your bench height and your height, the strap number might be different for you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, let's go ahead and lay down. All right, so this is how I'd be on bench so right here all right i'm gonna take this strap and so with my my bench is actually pretty high so i'm going to put it right on strap 21 here is about the smoothest i can get it and the advantages of this is that you can put it all the way up here all right when we're doing the bench press setup on the floor um you're kind of limited by you know the awkwardness of pulling it up to your lap which is still amazing and i have been increasing with that but there is just an advantage to doing this that is just very difficult to beat so if you have a bench I'd actually recommend setting it up all right so once we're here I'm in strap 21 right now so now I'm gonna go to I don't know if you can see it but um here's 23 okay so oh, I can just rotate it how about that all right so we're on strap 22 okay so we're gonna put this on strap 22. All right. Oh, I can tell this is gonna be pretty intense, and I'm excited for it. I'm, I've been waiting for it. All right. So this is going to stimulate about mid position. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do lower position in a second. But this mid position. Okay. So you ready? Here we go. Feet flat on the floor, just like you would. Regular bench, three, two, one, push. <laughs> what was that, by the way? 275. 275. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do near lockout, okay? So that already stretched pretty well. So I'm going to go from uh, strap 22. I'm gonna go to strap 24. So here we are here. Go to 20, 24. And my arms are going to be almost straightened out, which is the whole point. And so if you have an issue with bench and you are trying to figure out, like you have the the re, the rack, right? So you, you unrack, come down, fine. You're good at the bottom and then we're starting the concentric phase you're good you're good you're good and you just seem to like die out here you just need that little lockout this is what you do so we're gonna train lockout some people do have trouble with that all right so here's how we fix it okay so remember the strap number is gonna be different it might not be 24 for you now check out my hand position 275 check out my hand see where I'm at now I'm just about locked out okay this is fantastic for training that exact part of the lift in the weight room. Ready? Three, two, one, push. <sighs> ah. Oh, I expect this to be a little weaker. Yeah, oh, I thought so. 255. So 255.2. All right, so now we have mid position near lockout and so now we have to get that coveted launch phase so how are we gonna get that you might ask well all right so if you notice it's a little bit tighter so what i did was for the first two we started at strap 21 where this was attached right so i put it on strap 20 now it's really tight from here we truly have two options it's up to you all right, so the first option, okay, 
is to put this carabiner and the strap above this. I'm gonna show you guys both, just so you you kind of have a feeling of how this goes. So it's on, it's strapped on 20 right now, and I'm gonna put this on 21. Okay, we are still really tight. Watch my hand positioning now. It's going to be a lot lower. See that? So when we did um, mid position, it was about here when I push. All right, so I'm starting here. It's gonna come up a little bit, but it's not gonna be here. All right, so see for yourself. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, I expect this to be a little lower. Yep, 222, okay, 222, all right. Or the option that I prefer, it's a little bit more intense, is to put the carabiner on the same strap. Now here's why this might be like a little iffy. Now granted, these straps, right, they're pretty tough. If we put two carabiners in the same one, this is just my personal a personal opinion. I feel like it might put a lot of stress in that particular pocket. All right, and unfortunately, this is just one of those things where time will tell us. It's stick and shape, it's stick and shape up, isn't it? All right, so let's give this a shot. But currently, this is the lowest that we can get it, okay? So let's go give it a shot. Yeah, you see this? So now my, my elbows are like really down. All right. Let's give this a shot. I'm actually interested. I've never gotten it this low. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay. Oh, we got 233. All right. So we're going to take it off. Okay. So that's what we're looking at there. That's pretty much it. I mean, the setup, so obviously you'll need a bench. We have some links on my Amazon. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check that out, um, feel free to do so. For me personally, I probably feel more comfortable doing the bench with the strap, with the carabiner and the strap above the attachment strap. So for example, if it attaches at 19, I want this in strap 20. That, that's just my personal opinion. But, what are your thoughts? That's the bench press. After all this time, we finally have a way to do it. What do you guys think? Go ahead and comment down below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. Go ahead and comment. If you are not yet part of squad, hit that subscribe button. Come join the squad with us. We have a Patreon now. If you want to show your support for as little as a dollar a month, uh, we have a Patreon in the description box below. I'll see you next video. Peace.